This short film will introduce you, the driver, to the main points you need to know in order to accept and collect dangerous goods freight that are shipped as limited quantities. The modern world relies on chemicals either in substance, solid, liquid or gas forms contained in packages, articles and products. Many of these chemicals are classified as dangerous goods. This means that if released into the environment, for example the back of your truck, there is a significant risk that the chemical product will cause harm, injury to people and the environment, and damage to whatever is carrying it. There are various regulatory codes that govern and control the movement of such dangerous goods freight items. These should be known to you. ADR provides the control for road shipments, IMDG for sea shipments, IATA for air, and RID for rail. All of them share a single purpose, to prevent the dangerous goods from escaping during transport and causing harm, injury, or damage. Dangerous goods therefore present danger and risk during transport. The regulatory codes control the danger and risk by requiring the consigner to properly identify and classify the products before placing them into approved UN packaging, identifying them with appropriate labels and marks, and providing clear documentation to identify the product and its dangers to everyone involved in the transport chain. Some dangerous goods can be transported in a state where the dangers are reduced to a lower level of risk. This state is called limited quantities. Where limited quantities are used, the usually tight controls can be relaxed. Remember, not all dangerous goods items can be shipped as limited quantities. The main purpose of limited quantities is to reduce the amount of substance being carried to a low level, thus reducing its risk should it escape from its packaging. To assist in identifying which chemicals are being shipped as limited quantities, all such packages have to be marked with the limited quantity mark. The one shown here is suitable for use by road and sea sections of the journey. Only one of these marks should be visible on the package. It must be clearly displayed with no other handling or transit labels placed on or over it. Every single package that is shipped as limited quantities must have this mark applied, even if there is a pallet load of them. All packages bearing this mark must not exceed 30 kilograms in weight or must not have more than 30 litres of product. The limit of 30 kilograms or litres is one of the risk reduction requirements contained within the limited quantities controls. The maximum weight of any one package shipped as limited quantities must not exceed 30 kilograms or 30 litres. Every limited quantity package on a pallet must each weigh no more than 30 kilograms or 30 litres each. The limited quantity package used must either be a combination package, one where inner packages such as bottles, jars, jerry cans or boxes are contained within an outer package, usually a cardboard or fibreboard box, or a shrink wrap tray. A shrink wrap tray has the inner packages clearly visible, all contained within a cardboard tray, and the items are held securely together by heat sealed shrink wrap material. Only combination packages and shrink wrap trays can be used to transport limited quantities. You therefore cannot collect such items as single cans or jerry cans as limited quantities unless they are contained in a box or contained on a shrink wrap. As we have already seen, the weights of the package must not exceed 30 kilograms or 30 liters. The shrink wrap tray has a weight restriction of 20 kilograms or liters. It is the duty of the consigner to identify how much of the product can be contained within each inner receptacle. Guidance is provided within the regulatory codes that will clearly identify the maximum quantity or volume of chemical product that can be placed in an inner receptacle. When you arrive to collect the limited quantity shipment, you need to check the following. That the package is undamaged and is presented in a condition where it will withstand the forces of transport and handling, and that the package is clearly identified with the appropriate limited quantities mark for the intended journey. For road and Eurotunnel shipments, one of the advantages of limited quantity shipments is that no transport document or dangerous goods note is required. However, if the intended route includes either an air or sea segment to the journey, then a dangerous goods note is required for limited quantities. Air transport segments of the journey also require a different mark to be applied to the package. This includes a Y in the mark centre. This is a perfectly valid mark, provided that the shipment has an air segment of its journey. Whilst we are on it, this air journey limited quantity label is also shown on packages that are declared as ID8000 consumer products for air transport. You may encounter this if you pick up freight from an airline or airport-based freight forwarder. 
ID8000 is not a valid classification for road shipments and the Air IATA code requires the product to also display a Class 9 dangerous goods label too. This causes confusion with some drivers, shippers and other transport operators. The ADR and IMDG code recognise under 1142 the use of other marks and labels that are required for other transport modes. Both ADR and IMDG accept these marks for the purposes of limited quantities. Limited quantities are permitted to be carried on the Euro Tunnel without any restriction. Limited quantity volumes and weights do not need to be included in the calculation for transport categories that determine whether an ADR driver or ADR plated vehicle is required. For further information on this subject, please check out our other training film, ADR Transport Category. So in summary, limited quantities have two approved packaging marks and the dangerous goods are shipped in packages weighing less than 30 kilograms or liters for combination packages or 20 kilograms or less for shrink wrap trays. No documentation is required for limited quantity shipments that are traveling by road or Eurotunnel, but where the transport journey takes in a sea or air section, then a full dangerous goods note is required. The various dangerous goods regulatory codes direct what conditions must be met in order for a consigner to take advantage of the relaxations that limited quantities offer. It is the consigner's responsibility to ensure that every dangerous goods shipment is fully compliant. It is your job as a driver to ensure that as far as your visual and document check is concerned that the package is safe to collect and load. Don't forget to secure all loads carried, especially those that are dangerous goods, whether limited quantities or not secure the load. Thanks for watching this short information film. For further information about the content or to arrange further training, please contact Dan Lee on the contact details that appear on the screen.